I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BitRefill.com, your one-stop shop to live on Bitcoin and Lightning. They've got all the best gift cards, things like Amazon, Apple, Best Buy, Airbnb, Uber, and much more. You can even do hotel bookings, you can do all of your travel, and you can now grab prepaid MasterCards as long as you have a US address that you can input. Check them out today, BitRefill.com, links are down below to sign up now. Well, I am uh, I'm long term bullish, obviously, but uh, I think the last like maybe three times I've been on here, I've been talking about why I'm bearish, and it's mostly been the same thing. I think we're getting closer to a point where I can call myself bullish. I think what I said last time was that we need a lot more pain. You know, things like the FTX collapse and cascading series of lending collapses, Celsius, and all this stuff, like. The people who were making the dumbest decisions got a lot of pain. Really, the core Bitcoin holders were the ones that were like a little bit isolated from that pain. We all, like the price of Bitcoin dropped. And if that matters to you in the short term, then that can be some pain. But I, I think we haven't really gotten to the point where the pain is reaching the Bitcoiners until they got this whole ordinals thing going. <laughs> and it did a few things. It, it very effectively sidled up to Bitcoin and used Bitcoin as an affinity scam as a way to say, hey, this is not a scam now because it's tracked on Bitcoin. It doesn't actually change the fact that the thing that you're selling is a scam in and of itself. But the fact that it's on Bitcoin is now a layer of sort of like social armor. Obviously, there's been some a little bit of argument over the last few weeks about whether that's a scam, whether it's just like the Ethereum kids that have transitioned and the, those Bitcoiners that they've fooled. Um, are kind of saying stuff like, you know what, it's just the free market, like, stop whining, just let it be like, who are you to say what's what's right and what's not on Bitcoin. And I think that that level of pain is part of what we need in the Bitcoin community. We need we need a few more like, really catastrophic rage quits. We need somebody to be sacrificed for the uh, the next bull run. Yeah. We we need somebody to melt down and very angrily leave. And I think Nick, I think Nick the Carter wasn't enough for you, Dave. No, Nick Carter was not enough, and Nick Carter not, also not didn't to satisfy beast. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of like you got to think of it as like if we were like a Polynesian tribe making sacrifices to the volcano. You know, you throw some people in there, it keeps grumbling. You got to throw some more people in there. 